New Shepard at this point, completely autonomous, starting at T-minus two minutes. She's going to be running through her last bit checks. There you go, aft fin checks, four of those fins, supporting the directional capability of the rocket. And then shortly here, we're going to see the BE-3 engine nozzle gimbal also supports the directional capability of the rocket. All the while, I know our team is in mission control, keeping their eyes on the temperature and the, and the pressures in the propellant tank. Man, I have said this before, but there's nothing like a ticking clock and a rocket behind you to get your heart going. Guys, it's time to go to space. Let's get ready to rumble, New Shepard. Mission Control has confirmed New Shepard has cleared the tower on her way to space from West Texas. Go baby go! You can follow along as she speeds up towards space. You see the top right corner of your screen. Bottom left corner of the screen is the altimeter. We're just about at max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Confirmed, and she continues to punch her way to space for the fifth time this rocket. A nice clean burn on the BE3 engine. following from this outside desk, a beautiful trail as she launches up towards space. We're looking for about 335,000 feet today for a max altitude. All right, those 38 payloads in there, they're starting to, they've definitely by now have felt those Gs. They come on gradually. You peak at about three Gs on the way up. Our next milestone here, Miko, main engine cutoff. The engine's gonna cut off, but it's gonna continue its ascent to space, both the booster and the capsule together. Main engine cutoff is confirmed. You can also see in the top right corner of the screen that the speed is coming down. Separation is confirmed. At that point, if we were up there flying in space, we're gonna let you unbuckle, turn those somersaults. I'm definitely doing a superwoman across the cabin. There you go, you can see the two distinct craft in your screen. Capsule on the right, booster on the left. Those payloads in there Right now is when they're getting their nice, very clean micro G's. This new Shepard rocket based on the trajectory gets really nice clean G's, which is great for these experiments. 
All right, still, still accelerating up. We passed the Kármán line, the internationally recognized line of space. That's at about 330,000 feet. And we've hit Apogee. You see now that the speed went to zero. It's now speeding up again as the craft are coming home. Unofficial altitude, 344,000 feet or so. We're going to actually uh, confirm that number for you. And after the mission, a couple hours after the mission, we'll give you the, the official statistics. Correction, 346,000 feet or so. A nice high altitude. The higher you go, the more, the longer your zero Gs. If only we were in there, guys. It's coming. All right. The two craft are headed home. The booster on the left, the capsule on the right. The booster is going to beat the capsule home because of its, it's uh, more aerodynamically shaped than the, the capsule, which has kind of a blunt end to it. All right, right about now, the rocket itself is going to hit what we call atmospheric pierce point. It's coming back from space into the atmosphere. It means it has air pressure for some of those aerodynamic surfaces to push against so it can d maneuver itself. First of the subsystems to support the, uh, the stability of the rocket, the wedge fins, we have confirmation that they have been deployed. You're going to see them get a little sharper in your screen. Those are based up at the top of the rocket in what we call the ring fin. Now the ring fin itself is also supporting the stability of the rocket. It centralizes the pressure and so the rocket just on its own wants to stay nice and vertical on its way home. There you can see those wedge fins out. There are four of them, again, at the top of the rocket. New Shepard looking nice and stable on her way home. All right, at about 12,000 feet, there it goes. Drag brakes, watch as the speed of the rocket dramatically is reduced. And we're gonna wait for the BE-3 engine to relight and bring her down for a nice soft landing. Boom, we felt the sonic boom here down in Texas. Look at that beautiful hover. Just magic, look at that. And touchdown. Amazing, beautiful. Look at those wedge fins retracting. And there go the, 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 uh, the drag brakes as well. Her work is done. Fifth flight to space and back for that rocket. Just incredible. Congratulations to the Blue Origin team on that. Just another beautiful flight to space and back. All right, well, show is not over. All eyes are on the capsule now with those 38 payloads on board. Again, that's a record for our new Shepard capsule. There go the drogue shoots. And there are the mains. A bit of coning, but that is all right. 
reefed and now full inflation of the parachutes. Picture perfect. I can see the capsule from here just off in the distance. Nice and stable descent. Look at that. Look at those big, beautiful windows showing off for you, glistening in the Texas sun. A nice, stable descent. See, it's 16, 15 miles an hour. Last milliseconds, we're going to get the retro thrust system that's going to fire. It's going to kick up the dust, but that's a nice air cushion for the payloads. I see our team has already left our center here. It's going off to, uh, to recover the capsule and there it is, touchdown. A beautiful, beautiful launch and landing of the booster and the capsule today, incredible. I'm telling you, this has been quite the morning there's nothing like a, like a, a work day, quote unquote work day, when you get to launch and land rockets, am I right? Look at those two beautiful pieces of engineering. Look at that. Again, congratulations to the whole Blue Origin team and congratulations to our customers. I know they're gonna be heading out there shortly to check out their payloads. In fact, you know, their work is actually just start, starting now if you think about it just incredible so as mentioned our team is preparing the landing safety operations and recovery and we're going to be getting uh, our our customers out there at just as soon as possible look at that beautiful capsule now again we've got some unofficial statistics for you we will be sending out all of the official statistics later on today Mission launch time, 8.32 a.m. Central Standard Time. Maximum ascent velocity, 2,217 miles per hour, or about 3,500 kilometers per hour. Maximum altitude, 3, <laughs> sorry, 346,406 feet, about 106 kilometers. And then mission elapsed time, 10 minutes and 10 seconds.